you join me in a wet and windy miserable day and i'm out here in the van getting some more things done doing the final touching up and this is what we're on with next i'm doing the blinds for the windows and it's not really a blind it's like a thermal cover now you can buy these but i've decided to make them from scratch a couple of reasons it's cheaper and it's cheaper so that's why i'm doing it now this is the first one i've done i'll show you i've done that in a sec but moving on to the front window so normally i mean normally it really depends on who you are and what you're doing a lot of people put the, the like a big blind up so it separates sort of the cab from the bed area i'm not going to do that i want it to be all open so it feels bigger more space and then this chair spins around so basically i just want to use all the space when you know all the blinds are up and it's like night time like it is now so that's my plan and yeah this is what i've made it's got four little suckers that keep it on the window and i've used it's like thermal foam it's like i think it's like 10 mil thick and yeah so two reasons i'm using this first reason is it's going to be keeping the heat in but with the foil being on the outside it'll keep the heat out as well so in the summer if you've got all these on all the windows it's not gonna act like a bit of a greenhouse in here so and then all you gotta do is just pull it off and there that's what it looks like on the other side and at the end i'll let you know how much this all cost me because it is a fraction of the price of the kit you can buy for the first step i've cut out how it's going to fit in the window and i have used two individual pieces for this because i've done this side and i've done that window which i think's come out really well but i want to save a full roll to do the main windscreen so i'm gonna try and make this work with two individual pieces now that i've got the size i wanted i just need to peel this sticky back and put it on my fabric this is leftover stuff i've got from when i carpeted the whole van this stuff surprisingly goes quite far so this hasn't cost me anything technically for this job but you know i bought it when i did the whole van anyway the only thing annoying about this stuff is because it's rolled up as soon as you try and peel this off it rips into 900 pieces but other than that it's all right and once it's stuck down it goes pretty nice and then all i do is get my glue adhesive spray here spray a bit of this on around this carpet here and then it sticks over real nice just to cover up that that edge there okay so i'm pretty much on to the last step that's all glued in nice and i've just got these sort of window suckers and they're just like little little threads on the end of them and those little white tabs they just screw on it and once you get to the end of the tab it it sort of screws into the plastic so it like locks into place so it won't ever like undo so all i do is with that blade just cut a little hole um in this fabric poke it through screw it down and that's pretty much it as easy as that i've got the door window thermal blinds done and i've just done the main one and in the bottom corner there these nv 200s have got them little sort of corner i can't see how they start corner glass windows and i've made two little foam inserts for those and to be honest i will probably leave these in permanently because those little corner windows are pointless you you literally can't see out of them so i'm gonna probably just leave them in permanently um but yeah we're in we're done i'm really happy with that and i've still got a little bit of left over of that foam not the foam what am i talking about the fabric and what i might do is you see where the white paint is there on the doors that metal is still actually freezing cold compared to like these so with that i might just go around those so how much did all of this cost to do and it was cheap as you know you can buy the full kit off a company that does them about 80 quid for the for the kit done for you minus that window one it doesn't include that it's only the front windows i've done it for 26 pounds the roll of foam was about 13 quid and them suckers were about 13 quid as well i thought it was quite expensive for them suckers but i did get quite a lot of them and to be honest i wouldn't mind having one more in that middle right there so i might i might try and find one somewhere but yeah 26 quid rather than 80 quid bargain save yourself some money do it yourself and it feels better doing it yourself as well it could um how long did it take me i'd say about two hours 
So do it yourself. Save some money. Because, you know, if you know me by now, I like doing things on the cheap. I think I'm finally at the stage where I can say the build is done and it's time to go camping. So, yeah, I'm kind of really happy that it's done. It's been about, I don't know, like eight months in the build, all of this. And I've documented all the videos going through. Cause literally, this van was just a bare shell when I got it. There was nothing in it, none of the bed. And I've made all these wooden bits, carpeted everything, insulated the whole build. So if you want to check out some of the other videos I've got, start to finish, I've got this all. In fact, the only the next video I might do, I might do a start to finish build video of the whole lot. Get all the videos I've made together, try and shorten it down to like maybe half an hour of the whole transformation of the whole van. And I think that's the last video I'll do. And then after that will be an adventure somewhere. Don't know where. But I feel like I'm going to finish work on a Friday night and just drive somewhere, go somewhere. Whether it's probably, maybe, I'm feeling like the Lake District, somewhere up there maybe. And it's still quite cold. We're, you know, the end of January. I mean, I've even had the, the diesel night heater on now. I don't know what temperature it is. What does it say it is? 18 degrees, no? I had it on earlier. I've turned it off when I'm recording because it's quite... It's not noisy, but the rest of the video, I've recorded it in like nice silence, so I wanted to go that way. But I've got heating, I've got water, I've got my gas hooked up. Everything's done. We're finally here. Now, I can go camping with the family and uh, make some memories. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you later in the next video.